my fellow guys from the Twitch and YouTube community. This is a building tutorial for the Sager Lion, a unit from the Super Robot Wars, followed by Leona. Uh, you will be needing a few sets of paint for this thing, as it is not, which is the whole point of this video, in the game naturally. So, paint you will be needing. You will be needing a darkish blue at 99 brightness, 24 red, at 24 green, and 48 blue. You will need a white, pretty pure. We're speaking at, just a moment please, 94 brightness, and 238 in green, red, and blue. You will be needing yourself a bright blue at. Uh, wow, <laughs> I forgot to click like an idiot. You will need yourself a bright blue at 100% brightness, 27 red, 149 green, and 255 blue. Now, once you got all of these, you will be moving to the last color, which is a bang up orange, which will be needed for the fins and some of the glow part. 84 brightness, 212 red. 87 green and 25 blue. If you got all those four colors ready, either in the square section of the uh, of the pattern or no, the coloring, my apologies. These here are the flies. You're good. So cancel these change. Get out of here. We're gonna go to assemble, and we're gonna build ourselves the Sager Lion. The Sager Lion is gonna be all high grade parts, except for the weapons. And for the backpack, those are going to be master grade. We want to create a discrepancy, a scaling, if you will. Melee weapon wise, I usually put a saber on it. Though, due to the nature of the Super Robot Wars, you could put yourself twin swords, you could put a Gundam hammer, chain mine. You have a lot of freedom in that game. So, go for what you will. For argument's sake here, I will take the blue lightsaber of the Sentinel Gun. Weapon-wise, you will be using the Master Grade Dual Pistol, well, Dual Pistol, GNB Pistol 2, they are Dual Pistol. Head, we want to use the Akatsuki High Grade. Body, we will be moving to the High Grade Definitions, and we will be going with the Barbados High Grade. Arms will be going for the high grade versions of the Stargazer. Now, if somebody's asking why the Stargazer does shit, you are supposed to have huge shoulders on both sides. Here lies the catch. If you guys would please look at the stream, I need to have small shields on the arms. So, this is where the Stargazer arms comes in pretty freaking handy. Now, Legs, we're gonna go with the I grade Susanoho. That's about the best I could find as far as spot the color and just really the overall stance, if that makes sense to you. I regret that the heels are not filled, but yeah, you can't have everything, so. Moving on to the backpack. I don't have the DLC, maybe everybody with the DLC has a better backpack. Because if you go look at the picture of the back album out once again, the backpack has a single fit trust account with two trusters on the side. I don't have that. So I awkwardly settled for the blitz. Well, I welcome feedback. If y'all have a better idea, give it to me. I want to know because I love the Psycho Lion, hence the point of this whole video. So, shield wise. You're not supposed to have any, but I'll show you how to use a HG high grade GN shield from the GNX. So if you want to pour stat on the shield to make, make yourself chunkier than what you're supposed to be, you'll be able to do just that. So for the shield, you'll want the shield to always be on the left arm. If it quits that, I can't guarantee anything. Next, positioning. X at minus 191, Y at 300, and Z at 164. Let's go with those. So, minus 191, my apologies, 300 here, 
And lastly, the positioning at 164. Almost there, and bingo. Rotations will be the following. X is neutral, it stays at 0. Y, you want 300. And lastly, with Z, you want 164. So, bingo. Scaling has to be as small as possible. Uh, let's see. 131, 164, yep. That's perfect. Looks like this time it's coming out. Maybe it's because I, did have, I had a weapon last time. Well, I could just do this. And then... <laughs> my apologies guys, small adjustment on my part. There we go. It's pretty much gone. So! With that small adjustment done, my apologies. <laughs> Complication, by the way. We're gonna be moving to the builder's part. This build of the single lion will take every single builder parts available to you. So be warned. Unless you really crank the state specs up, you won't be playing new type of extreme anytime soon. And if you do, you guys are gods. <laughs> or at least to be you're the best. So shut up. With that said, we're gonna be moving to the builder's part. So First one is going to be fairly easy. We'll be moving with the huge brow this thing has. So we're going to be getting from the head part a boomerang. A boomerang, my apologies. Terrible pronunciation here on my part. Boomerang time blade antenna. Every values will remain neutral except for the scaling. You want that thing at 300. There you go. The huge bushy brows that this thing has, which I'll display in a second. Oop. You have them. Done so. So. Now we're gonna go for that huge Ah I didn't want to call that. <laughs> Spike it has in the head, the closest thing we have to that is gonna be the knee crusher. I know it's gonna come in as awkward, but you want to put a knee crusher on the head. So measurement for that bastard. Coming right up. We want X as neutral. We want Y at minus two thirty five. Almost, just a bit more bingo. And finally, we want Z at minus 217. Now, rotations, please. 28. Minus 28. My bad. We'll need a. Alright, X and Z are to be remained as neutral. The scaling, however, has to go up to 31. There you go. Now we have the horn as well. Now, the upcoming parts are going to be pretty simple, but before we can do the simple part, which will be the huge shoulder, we'll need to fill that hollow part at the core, which the Sager Lion does not have. So we'll be going on the body, and we will be picking ourselves a, if I recall, proper head, head sensor unit. Bingo. This thing's specs are going to be the follow. X remains neutral. Minus 63, however, for Y. We want to be reaching minus 69 for the Z. Moving on to rotation, we will want 121 on X. We will want a neutral Y and 99 on Z. Finally, the scaling has to go up at 116. Once you're done with that, we can go to the shoulder parts, which will be the final part for the builder's part. Those are going to be on the harms. Whether you like it or not, both harms, you go down to truster unit. If I recall proper, big go truster unit. The same one used by the Barbados, if I recall from. And now we're going to be doing those measurements. We'll need for the first set of truster units. X minus 122. We'll need minus 50 for Y. And lastly, we'll need 58 for Z. 
Rotations as follows, if you please. 195 for X. Almost. Whoops. Bit of a kill. We'll need 1 for Y and 15 for Z. Once again, a bit of a kill on my part. Lastly, you crank that thing to the max. Now they're not gonna look alive. I know. Here's the catch though. We are the third selection for their spot on the arms. So press R1 a few times and bingo, they fit right in. Now we'll do the other set. Move to both arms. Oh, oh bastard. My apologies. Scroll down, you select once again thruster unit. We'll move directly to tr uh, to boat arm number one this time around, so you'll see the evolution of the pattern as it should be. So, minus one twenty-eight once again. We shall move then to one. No, minus fifty at my apologies. I'm looking at the wrong measurements, real. But the one twenty-eight stands. Don't get me wrong here. And then minus seventy-two. Now the rotation shall be. Minus 199. Minus 2. Scale stay. The scale. <laughs> Rotation stays neutral for the Z. And then the scale once again cracks up to 300. There you go. Your shoulders are done. Your head's done. Those are the hardest part. So. Action wise. If you have it. Personal suggestion. Windows shoulder. Normally in the game, you can have e an attack called Acceleration Boost. Where you have huge lasers coming out of these and she just rams the person. Although I can't have the arms move into proper position. If you use a large beam saber that you get from the H2 bullet, you'll be able to do a similar attack. I believe Wings of Light works as well. Twin beam rifle slash that you get from the light a from the Thunderbolt armored guard that is also a good thing for this unit. As much as Faithful does go, mind you. <laughs> Let's say that it's you no know, good to play as. It's just Faithful. We'll make the paint. We will. Well, it's loading. <laughs> zoom zoom. This is where the four color I described earlier, and I do not mind repeating myself a bit here. You will need a black, 19 brightness, 24 red, 24 green, 48 blue. You'll need yourself a white at 94 brightness, 238 everywhere. You'll need yourself a blue at 100 brightness, we're speaking 26 red, 148 green, 255 blue. The last part is going to be a orange sort of bagger job. We want this to pop off the chest at 84 brightness, 212 for red, 87 green, 25 blue. With that repetition, you can also just pause what I did earlier in the video when I showed them. Now, we colored the heck out of it. The god is the simplest of them all. Everything is literally black. Oop, oop, oop. Every caution mark on this mech should be for you. The fourth row, so one, two, three, four, and the third orange. <sighs> there you go. That's literally everything. Moving up to the head now. Head is going to be black, followed by a white, followed by a, I believe, let's say, no, the head's black, the rest is just black. Oh, oh, oh. That one do his white. And black again. There you go. Just like that, the head's done. Once again, we set our caution marks. The builder parts is actually pretty simple. Black for the huge bushy brown V. Put your caution mark up. Builder's part, once again, for the head, it's pretty simple. Pure black, put your caution marks up, you're done with the head. Moving up with the body. Oh, it's a tidbit more complex, I guess, but studying all that out ahead. You want the first part to be blue, second part to be black, you will want the third part to be blue, 
you will want the torso to be black. That one is orange, that's where I said you need the bag of orange really to make the chest pop out. So, there you go. And the final part is black. With that we're set. Glow color, usually I'd put it black, but eh, you can make it orange or dirty your orange. Totally up to you. I would suggest personally for the glowing to go for the fort. Hits a bit more. After that, you put your caution marks. Deal. Scroll down for the uh, sensor unit we put in the middle. That was actually pretty simple. Blue, blue. <laughs> Not even kidding, you guys. Once again, you go to the glowing part. You can either get a better orange or a very hardcore one. I wonder what that pops out, so. I'll be taking that one. Caution mark. Set to classic. Moving up to the arms, guys. That one, once again, is going to be pretty easy. Blue, blue, blue. Black, black, black. Not even kidding. So, boop, boop, boop. With three blacks. There we go. It's a done so. Glow color. That's what the arms open. I would suggest the fourth one. Here's why. If I open it, you actually see a darker orange than what you would get with this guy, which is almost yellow. <laughs> So yeah, bear with me here. I find this to be the better match. So close these. Caution mark, you know the drill. Boop boop. The builder's part here, it's pretty simple. You want the first part to be completely black. The second one in the inside and the uh, side designation, you want them to be blue. Done so. Caution mark. Once again, black. Blue. And caution mark. Moving down to the legs, that one is super easy, guys. And that's why I also pick these guys. You can actually get just a good blue delimit delimitation. There we go, set it proper. The rest is literally all black. Caution mark. We'll be moving to the backpack now. Nothing complicated, mind you. Backpack is literally going to be black. Blue. Blue. Uh, no, orange. With a shade of black. And we are done as far as the base color go. Feel free to make your own modification. For the shield, if you really want to hide it, I suggest putting blue and blue, just so that when you zoom on it, it doesn't show as much. Once again, this is just me reminding you, it's not supposed to be there. But if you want to add some extra defense on that skinny build, the shield can't hurt you. And it comes complete with a GN field. So, hey, that works proper. Now, we're going to move down to the... Uh, oh yeah, demonstration. <laughs> My apologies, dude. It's been a long day for me. Trouble after trouble after YouTube claiming everything! Urgh. Also, I guess before I leave, I'll show you what you've accomplished if you followed all these steps so far. In comparison with the actual lion. So you can get yourself a general idea. I'm gonna remove that now. <laughs> so, small demonstration. I'm gonna ask my I'm gonna get my ass added over to me as I'm gonna go to the arena and showcase a unit. Uh zoop. One day, one day, this shall take less than five minutes to load. And no, this is the deploy for me to upload that to YouTube and then get a free, uh, <laughs> get free firmware show. It really takes that long sometime. I don't know what's triggering it though. So, because all my parts are low, very low level, we're going to be fighting a one-on-one -on -one fight. This is definitely not going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Whoops. The release now it's more immediate. <laughs> Come on, give it to me, game! It's 
still connecting. Maybe I don't goofed for real this time. <laughs> I know what I'm editing out when I get to YouTube. <laughs> Sorry for all the guys on Twitch, I don't want to get you through that. There, crossbow XT, let's go. I have to fight you, alright, never mind then. So I am taking the bets. How many times will I die before I win? And that's if I win. Make your bet in the, in the channel, in the channel section. In the chat section, guys. Awesome! <laughs> they even give, they're even giving me the wink, so... Uh, my PlayStation was just with my fun today. No, 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 that's bad. There we go. And for those wondering, DLC bot, this shit, dude. It's not a bot, guys, it's just how I grab my DLC from Singapore. I guess it's another tutorial I could do one day for those that are wondering how to get this game without having to import it away and wait a certain amount of time or, play or pay for shipping. You can directly get this in English, completely translated from Singapore. Uh, oh, and might I had a Singapore PSN account happens to be in complete English. Totally forgot to equip my... Oh, this is going to be rough. Oh, I chose hard mode, guys! <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm going to get bodied. <laughs> this skill he's using prevents every forms of close range combat. Also, here's the... Fancy. Wow, I can't show you the fancy. Alright, let's cheat a bit. I have handguns equipped, right? I lied! Bazooka shells. <laughs> also, the handguns fire. We're speaking of uh, the usual twin, uh, twin rifle fire rate. If you leave it press, you will do a dodge move. Not so bad. Could think about it, but as far as doing hit and run attacks, that'll do. He'll carry you far away. So let's try to make this work. I guess this is a demo that the right EX skill will carry you through whatever missions or terrible choice decision you made in your life. <laughs> Alright! Let's activate the GN field, which comes with the shield. Okay, this is not working as intended, guys. I guess I'll end it here. I don't want to see you... Uh, to have you see me slug through this endless, endless grind is probably going to take like 15 minutes on its own. You don't deserve this. <laughs> Nobody does. So yeah, meet me later today as I'm going to tackle the Von Grey, main unit of the SRWV, the upcoming game. Later guys.